Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I've decided to go dock fishing today. It's a beautiful day, it is low tide, it's perfect. I'm gonna try out some fish bites, chum pucks. I don't know if you've ever seen this before on this channel. I've never used it before, so I know you haven't. Um, it's a highly concentrated mixture of their um, their ingredients. Just, and we're gonna drop one down on a pylon and hopefully it uh, attracts a bunch of fish. Oh, okay, we got a resealable bag here. That's cool. Love fish bites for the resealable bags. Oh, shiny. Very shiny. I've never done this before, so I'm probably doing this all wrong. So forgive me if it's kind of barbaric here. There we go. Break it up just a little bit. It's all shiny. Stick it in this mesh bag here. I'll try it out. I probably wasn't supposed to break it up the way I was because I got all this stuff all over my hands. There we go. Tie it off right here. The bait fish just went nuts. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna use some live shrimp. Got a popping cork. Start with that. First fish of the morning, big old pinfish, causing lots of ruckus. Keep it, keep it down, little guy. That's a, that's a big pinfish. God dang! Wow. See the size of that pinfish? Yeah, nice. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. It's my PB. <laughs> So that chum bag has been sitting for over an hour. I don't know how long it takes, but uh, it's been over an hour and there's lots and lots of bait fish all coming around this dock right now. I mean, they were probably here anyway, but I mean, I come here all the time. This seems like an extra amount. Oh, there you go. Oh. Found it. Oh, it's a catfish. Boom. Mangrove snapper. Let's get them, dude. I mean, if they're not eating the shrimp, then they're eating the bait. They're eating the bait fish. You gotta always change it up. Or they're eating the crabs. Flounder like to eat. No live bait needed. It's a good name. It works. And well, NLVN. NLVN. A little pro cured. Does the body good. You know what? I'm gonna throw this cast net where that chum bag is. Yeah, See what kind of bait fish we can catch here. Hey, I caught a bunch. Yeah, if they're not eating shrimp, they're eating something. Let's try something else. There you go. I mean, it's just, they're just so small, they're swimming through the net, but some of the bigger ones are actually keeping. So, let's see what this chum bag did. Oh, it does do chum stuff. Oh, you gotta shake it up. Look at that. Oh, that's a good croaker. Dang, you didn't even know you had a fish on. <laughs> He's croaking. Yeah, put him on. Enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but there definitely is a lobster. Lobster straight down on these rocks right here. There's a few of them. Yeah. There's like three. Oh yeah. Look at all those lobsters on this rock. There's one. 
two, and three. How many times have we got hung up on this rock right here? Okay. I know. I was before I saw this, I was like, "What am I getting snagged on?" That's the trick, man. Come out here during low tide to see yep. where not to fish. Exactly. <laughs> Rusty over here. <laughs> Trying to catch lobster on lure. Oh. Oh man, he did grab it. Ah. He spit it. Thank you all. There you go, Chris. Yeah. Little jack attack. Jack attack. Jack Craval. Oh, it's a boy. It's grunting. See ya. Here we go. Fish on. Fish on. Don't let him spit it. Don't let him spit it. Don't let him spit it. Boom. Mm, flatty. Real bad. It's a nice little flatty, huh? Ooh. Little baby. We're we'll getting back. All right, so right here, I get caught up on this structure, and it took me a little while to get that off the structure, and Big when that structure. happened, my other rod with a bobber on it was taken by a fish. Took my rod and reel completely into the water, lost forever. Right here, I'm starting to realize I don't see my rod. I'm like, uh-oh, I do not see a rod or reel. Come on. At this point, I'm starting to panic. I'm not sure where the bobber is. I'm looking for the bobber. I don't see a fish floating oh, no. with it. It was on a bobber. I guess something big, huh? I don't know where it is. Was it being pulled by a fish? Yeah, but I don't know what hit it. At this point, Chris says, I see a bobber right there. Dude, that's an expensive setup. God dang it, that's my fault. You do? Where? Oh, you're right. Oh, oh yeah there's a fish on Where is it? it's right here oh i got the line i got it crazy God. Big old catfish took my rod in the water. <laughs> Luckily, the dock held my line. That's insane. I got my rod and reel back. Thank God this thing is sealed. Wow. I'm using a Penn oh. Spin Fisher 6 reel, and they're sealed. So that means no they're joke, watertight, dude. which they can get dunked and they can stay underwater for a little while without getting completely damaged. Wow. Note to self, make sure you get your, pay attention to your line. Having a sealed reel protects the inner gears and bearings. If you're a saltwater fisherman, go ahead and spend the extra money and get a sealed reel, just in case some accident like this happens. Wow, that was crazy. Oh, there we go. Hold on, do I need a net? Second flounder on artificial. I'll try to bring him up. Or... I think you got it. I think you got it. Oh, just, just, just be sure. <laughs> I'll measure him up. You got it. You got to come up to the nose. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. That's one under. No, no, he's keeping. Right? Yep, 14. Oh. That's a, that's a, that's a legal size. I'd put him back, though, because it's yeah, really tiny. It's, it's right at the, the cusp. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I just got thumped. I think he caught it. Yeah, there we go. Fish on. 
There we go. Don't let him spit the hook. I told you he was there. Man, we got him. Dude, that's a fat one. Yeah. That's that's a Look good one. Look at the size of his jaw. That's a good one. He's going on the stringer. Get him on the measuring stick here. I was just guessing. Uh, he's not as big as we thought. He's he's 18 and a half. 18 and a half. That's a good size flounder. That's a good keeper. As soon as I switched over to the fish bites, boom. 18 and a half inch big old fatty flounder. You, you are the eel master. What are you gonna do? How do you always do that? Well, they're scavengers, you see. Oh my gosh. I don't, that's amazing how you always catch an eel. I've never caught an eel in my entire life. This is awesome. He's rolling like an alligator would. There we go. A little teamwork. <sighs> Makes the dream work. <laughs> nice. Right, See you later, buddy. Sail, sail away. Sail away with me. Sail, sail.